Hi everybody. As of, as you saw in the, my previous video, I popped a uh, fuse. It was this one? It's a six amp. But I tested this big surgery transformer. So I don't have any six amps anymore. So the contactor doesn't come on. I can't turn my uh, solder iron on. I can't. I can't. Uh, get power out of the uh, sockets under the table. Just want to show you them. With that socket there, not that one. That one gets power from a another fuse. But that socket don't get power, and not that socket. I don't get any power out of the big con 24 pin contact. Not the other contact as well. So I need to fix the fuse. I think one of these strands can will just tolerate uh, six amps. So that's good. So I'll take out the strand inside the fuse and replace it with another another one. So you take the end cap off. Something like that. That's end cap. We'll pour out the stand. And here are the blow the blown strands inside it. Yes, now we need to take top take the top off. don't want to break it. I don't have so many fuses left. They are also blown but I don't want to break this one. Yes, that's the top. So I replace the strand inside it. Just one of these. Put the top back on it. I put the fuse upside down. <laughs> so I'll pour the sand back in it. Now the sand is back in it and we we'll Take that off. Put the end cap. Yes, I think it might work. I just want to take my Uh, amp meter, put it on continuity test and see if it works. Yes. So put the fuse back in its place. Yes, this one had the uh, Glass end here, which was blown off by the by something. Does this one have it? Put fuse in it. 
put it back so I can turn my solder iron and my sock sockets on as normal. Yes. Works perfect. Solder iron works. It's nice to, that you can control your equipment with just some buttons, buttons, something. <laughs> Yes, that was how to repair a broken fuse, or popped fuse, not broken. <laughs> Thanks for watching.